Shmai Esfachi, Atka Cedar Edwards, VMware Tanzu Labs, and the Pechtachtwa. I had always been something of a, a language geek. I have a background in endangered language revitalization. That's what I was doing before I came to work with VMware in a community that has a language that is endangered, uh, where there's very few fluent speakers left, very few native speakers left. A language revitalization movement is when a community in that situation decides we want to get the language spoken again. We want to not just preserve it, not just write down a technical grammar uh, and, and record a bunch of stories and put them in a library. We want our community to be using this language. There is no way for one person to save a language. It's always going to be a thing that a whole community of people come together and do together. VMware has a number of ProDev programs that, that they make available to their employees. There's a Take 1 program, Take 2, and Take 3. The Take 3 program becomes available after five years, uh, and it lets you spend three months doing something other than your usual job. I started going through the list of eligible nonprofits. Um, I thought it would be cool to do something language related, and when I saw the Alutic Heritage Foundation, I thought, I know them. Uh, so then I reached out and got in touch with some folks who were active with the Aluta Heritage Foundation's language revitalization program. Then I found out that they had created a series of lessons around the game of Go Fish, but they were all designed to be done in person because that's how it was always played. Folks would get together at the language center uh, or at the language nest and they would play games around an actual table. They also couldn't use some of the online card game apps that had like decks of playing cards because the game of Go Fish for language learning purposes doesn't work very well when you use an actual game of playing cards. Something that goes more smoothly is if you create a custom deck of cards that instead of numbers and suits has apples and sea lions and grizzly bears on them. Because how many apples do you have is very easy to do in all languages. They're all very streamlined at doing that. We use the usual Tanzu Labs practices, uh, user-centered design, user interviews first, doing like a discovery and framing, talking to everybody about their experience with GoFish specifically and the language program in general, especially in this remote uh, COVID-19 situation. By doing that research, by talking to people about the problems that they have and all of the usual things that we do when we scope software projects, I was able to identify, okay, this is the way that I can build this that is gonna help people the most. Within the first week or two, I had a version of GoFish that didn't work very well and looked awful, but could mostly play a game. And then I started playing it with people and doing those user interviews and those rapid iterations and releasing continuously, using test-driven development to make sure that I could always change the software. I got to sit in on language club uh, meetings where folks from all over North America were joining and getting to learn to play the Go Fish game for the first time. They were making friends on the island. They were learning this language that their grandparents or great grandparents had spoken and they were forming connections with each other. After all the times when I had taken uh, my experience from language revitalization efforts and applied them to helping big companies make software more effectively. Now I was getting to do the reverse and I was getting to go back to a community that had a very concrete need. Um, and I was able to use the experience that I had picked up at my software job to give them this tool. Uh, and they picked it up and they ran with it.